hope you're having a great day. This is Bill McCarthy again from the Southwest Indian Foundation. Um, today we're going to uh, talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart. You may or may not know, but uh, there's a great tradition of military service uh, to uh, the United States of America from the Native American populations. This fact is, is pretty much gone unsung, uh, I think, on balance. Even during the generations when Native tribes were exempt from the draft, there was an incredible level of volunteer enlistments. The first Americans, as an ethnic class, although they had only a small, tiny fraction of the United States resources, they proved themselves reliable stalwarts in times of need and conflict in defending this great country. Ira Hayes proudly raised the American flag at Iwo Jima. The legendary Code Talkers are just now receiving proper honor and recognition they so justly earned. This code was never broken by the Japanese, was invaluable for the campaign waged in the South Pacific. You know, who knows how many additional Americans would lose their lives if it had not been for this code. In recent times, the first Native American woman uh, to fall in battle in the history of the United States, a special uh, Hopi maiden, Lori Paestiwa, paid the last full measure of devotion in her service. We could go within a mile or two in any direction of this very spot and find a traditional uh, Navajo Hogan. Uh, the Hogan may have a dirt floor, no running water or electricity, but if there were, was any loved one that had served in the military in that home, uh, the, there would be a photograph and, and a spot in a prominent place that, that, would, that would celebrate and honor the military service of that family to this great country. So heroes abound, uh, and uh, this is an extraordinarily important part and aspect of, of Native life in, in our area. Uh, last October, the president of the Navajo Nation, uh, Mr. Russell Begay, and the Southwest Indian Foundation joined hands in honoring and serving uh, our veteran community. We, uh, we in partnership, are uh, in, in the process of building 10 uh, homes for homeless Native American veterans in our area. Do they deserve any less? So out here uh, in Gallup, New Mexico, and the surrounding area, uh, through these charitable works, we are learning to walk in beauty. So subscribe, like, and share, and hope you have a wonderful day, and may you always walk in beauty.